as climate starts to change and is getting worse and worse, our buildings seem to be designed to be capsules, sealed very tightly from the outside. For temperate climates, we have to wonder why we do that. The moment I thought about changing my client-based practice to a research-based one was when I realized the products out there were really limiting. I wanted buildings to do things automatically, that to do it without energy, without controls, so that they can respond to the environment as it got hotter and hotter, how to keep buildings cool. The material that I work with is called thermobimetal. It's a lamination of two alloys of metal together that expand at different rates. So what happens when the temperature goes up, it curls. Innovation is 90% failure. The first idea was to use it for self-ventilating that would actually ventilate the surface and open up like a basket weave. Another project was self-shading so that the pieces would actually start to open up and, and shading the area below. And then we also use it for self-assembly. Places like NASA have contacted me as possibly using this material on the moon. And we can also generate energy now. I designed solar turbines so that when the sun hits the surface, it basically makes a turbine turn indefinitely. We need more product designers like Dosu. The Invert product is unlike any other things that are out there right now. It just takes advantage of the properties of a material and our sun, and that has great potential for the future. We have some exciting projects in development. I have this idea that facades of buildings should belong to the city. So one of the projects that I'm working on is making smog eating panels. So the future has so much innovation and invention ahead for Dosu architecture.